Waves Harmony. I was scrolling through the Waves plugins and was incredibly intrigued by this Harmony plugin where essentially, to my understanding, the way it works is that you put your vocal in and it creates harmonies based off your vocal, like essentially artificial harmonies. I guess it's technically like AI harmonies, I guess you could say. And this is a first look at this plugin where we're going to be taking a song that I've already finished, already released, already produced, like it's done, and going back and seeing how it would work if we had used this plugin. Now. I chose a song that doesn't necessarily need or ha like ha have many harmonies in it because I want to see how it will work in that setting. This is my first time actually opening the plugin and, and messing with it, haven't done anything with it. Let me show you what we have just in general. This is my song, She. It's like a punk rock kind of feel. So this is the chorus of uh, one of the choruses. Let's take a listen. Okay, so if we just take a listen to the vocals, we have three layered main vocals and then two octave down. This is vocals. If we could go back and redo our path, would we have so that's about it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this main vocal, the one without the echo. I'm gonna make, create a all, like a new track because I want to turn off all of the uh, effects, and then I'm, we're going to return them on in the end. So let's duplicate all of this. So this is we're going to mute th these other ones. Pretend like we're not using them right now. So this is what we have. Took out the echo essentially. Now I'm going to turn all this off because I want just a straight, I guess a straight non-affected vocal, and see how it goes. Let's pull up the uh, Waves plugin. It's all the way at the bottom of that list, the Waves Harmony. All right, so let's see. You can actually hear that the vocals are slightly distorted. I recorded them a little too hot, so this is what the vocals sound like. Turn everything off. If we could go back and redo They were a little too hot, which is crazy that it actually cleans up in the, the post production. But let's take a let's take a listen. If we could go back and redo Let's do full spirit. Just do random. Hold on, how do we how do we go back to C major? Like we change keys. This is crazy. All right, let's do a simple, simple harmony, waves harmony. Let's just do our own. Let's create a fifth down, I guess, and a fifth, a seventh, a fifth up. If we could go back and redo our past. Very interesting. Okay, now that's pretty loud in the mix. Let's pull it down pretty. Could go back I like the uh, control on the panning. Now, what is snapshots? Let's see. Oh, that is cool. That is a cool feature. So what we have right here is snapshots. We can create different harmonies and like alternate between them. So obviously we see the one I just created. Now we can go to snapshot two that has this one. Let's go another. Let's go another fifth. This. Let's go a seventh. Like a seventh up, which is a fifth. Let's move it over here. So now we have two, like essentially, like kind of harmony, like unisons, but they're split pans. So. If we could go back and redo. Wow, that's really cool. You can fine tune the pitch. Let's check. Let's mess with the format. Right, let's hear. If we could go back and redo a path. If we could go back and redo our oh, you can adjust the whole general mix of the uh, loudness. This is really wild, man. Okay, let's now let's turn all the effects back on and see how it sounds if we had just this effect on. If we could go back and redo I mean, that's pretty sick. Let's lower this a little more. And let's add a fifth over here too, though. So now we essentially have two of the same, but they're like they they kind of flip flops. We have them going on opposite directions. Whoa. Okay, so we got a, a lot of effects in here. This is crazy. Okay, so over here we have some effects where we can go through them. Uh, like this is an LFO. This is it looks like a, some sort of step sequencer. Got a bunch of things going on here. We have an uh, envelope where we can affect the attack and stuff. Well, wow, this is pretty wild, man. Now let's hear it in the actual mix. That's pretty interesting.
But let's do one more. Let's mess with something totally different. Oh, this is just an octave up. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. You can change the chords in here. I'm sorry. So I was just did one single chord. You can actually, as we go, change the chords as they go and then, like, manipulate them. So here you can see the chords. Look at the piano chords up here. This is insane. I gotta do more research on this plugin. This is really, really cool. Obviously, these chords are not matching up. So if I really wanted to, I could sit here on the piano and play the chords that we're playing in and obviously we'll create the chords on there. This is insane. This is crazy. Okay, let's, let's pick another one. Um, oh, this is cool. You could choose the harmonies that you want. This is insane. Choosing the notes and stuff. <laughs> this is so crazy. Right, let's do one more. First of all. I mean, that sounds legit. So now what would be cool, actually? So watch this. I'm going to duplicate this track. Here's a cool use that we could actually do for this. Duplicate this track. And I'm going to use it as a vocoder. So I'm going to turn this off over here. And I'm going to use it over here. And we're going to actually use this as a vocoder. We're going to turn my source down and raise the harmony up. Now we got this uh, this uh, vocoder kind of sound, which is sick. This is sick, man. We can add a little delay. This is a cool plugin, man. If we could go back and our Let's take out some of the low end over here. If we could go back and our this is sick. So that now that actually sounds pretty legit. Like this could have worked in the track, like with a little bit of um, vocoder going on. It fills it up a lot. I'll do it with and without. So this is we'll turn it. Uh, we'll turn like everything. We'll mute it and with it. This is with it. Now without. If we could go back and with. If we could go back and now obviously it's a little wonky. I did it in 13 seconds, but like it really fills up the track a lot more. And like I would go in and tweak it and adjust things here and there. But for a first look, first use, this is a really, really cool plugin. The Waves Harmony plugin, it's this is cool. Like I highly recommend if you're into this kind of stuff. You can do so much. I mean, this is. 10 minutes of just messing with it, you know, really, if I went deep dove and, like, you know, added chords or really, like, spent the time to figure this out, like, and and, and tune in and stuff, you can make some cool vocoder sounds, you can make some cool harmony sounds. The, you know, quick promo that I was watching, the harmony sound decently legit like this is really cool so if you're interested there's a link down below you can actually you could just you can get it from waves they run sales all the time so if you want it now you can get it now if you want to wait you can wait and use use the link and get it then i highly recommend checking this out this is i'm gonna be messing with this in my own music what i like to do one last point is i also like to mess with plugins on their non-intended use essentially obviously you're supposed to use this no oh, not supposed to but you, you may most people would use this on vocals I like to be like, hmm, what would this sound like on guitars or drums? Imagine a snare drum running through this, like a pitched snare. That sounds pretty sick, you know? Or synths, you're running synths, now they're creating harmonies on the synths. I don't know, it's a really cool use plugin that I'm going to be checking out more. So, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you have this plugin, if you have any tips and want to leave them in the comments below, it'd be really cool. I'll see you in the next video. God bless and peace out.